Yes, come on, Kendrick. Inside your DNA. What's up, y'all? Inside your DNA. What? Ah! What's going on, y'all? It's Friday. Listen, it's me, Erica. I know y'all can't see me because the sun is still down. It's slowly rising over there. Sky is changing colors. But I had to get this started. You know what I'm saying? So what's going on? It's Friday. Go ahead and like and comment, share, and leave a subscribe and hit the bell twice so you can get the notifications and everything. Fridays, we just talk about whatever. I usually never have anything specific to talk about, but uh, here we are. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Proceed with caution. <laughs> So everybody had their uh, good morning. Everybody is awake. It's Friday, ready for the weekend. What y'all got planned this weekend? I have, what do I have to do this weekend? I was going to go to therapy on Saturday, but we had to reschedule. So I'll be going in a few weeks. Um, it's the best thing. If you are able to afford it and have the resources, please if you don't have you have somebody to talk to we support therapy also if you um if you can't find a therapist i know it's like for us we want like i have a black woman therapist so um it's important um <laughs> wow i just had a memory just i just remembered something um but yeah she um therapy for black girls it's a website it's a directory um so if you need to find a therapist, if you specific in wanting to find a black therapist or more specific wanting to find a female therapist, um, it's a great resource. It's actually where I found my therapist. So therapy for black girls, um, dot com. So it's not a, a this is just a shout out. Um, and every time somebody says I can't find a black psycho a, a black uh, therapist or uh, uh, psychologist or whatever I always refer them to this site because it helped me so you know I'm not gonna hoard information we giving out information so everybody can have and be able to be healthy in our mind as well as everything else right so shout out to all the people who um, <clears throat> who um, who go to therapy so but yeah, so that's all I had planned, but uh, we had to reschedule, so I'll be going when her, on her next available. She's very, she's booked and busy, honey. She is booked and busy. So what are we talking about this morning? Are we still talking about what's going on in the school and that the the, the, fa the man, did he work at Yale or he went to Yale? A father who actually was, had the tip off. This man, I have no idea, some white man who went to Yale, he is already in trouble for securities fraud and wire fraud. And so in his plea, he gave up the college admission scam that's going on. And it's so funny because I know we were like, I posted some things about Megan McCain and um, Anon, I can't remember his last name, the Indian dude that is always on the um, news channels, but he was really give. he really gave, and I don't know if I'm going to edit this so I can include this, but I will definitely include the link, um, but he really gave a great perspective on what this does to young adults and children and young adults because it's not just happening in college it happens in these private elementary schools um that these kids there's waiting lists for and things like that it's all a branding thing and to you know to lift your child up within society and i was just talking to a friend and i was saying i bet you in every elite section of society black white asian Indian there is a scam going on and also not to mention that from every socioeconomic level because even on the view what's her name says something to the fact like there's people getting arrested for food stamps fraud on every single level somebody is trying to fuck the system and everybody knows this these systems and it just and then it and then I'm trying to understand the legitimacy of these educational institutions because why don't you just say oh give me 2.5 million we can say that you went here we will give you your degree this is how much that degree costs 
I'm in for this field because this is what's essentially happening. Happening because and then what Anon was saying was that then there's this sense of I deserve this. I, I, I mean, I've been I've been given every single thing since I was a child. Every school I my mom put me in, I you know I was in this school, these private schools, and now I'm accepted to this college. I know I'm. That is how you get mediocre white folks acting as though they are deserve to be someplace. Acting as though they deserve to be someplace. Like Megan McCain. Joy started talking about the legacy admissions. Meaning that you get in based on your legacy. Your, your dad went here. Your grandfather went here. You don't think that that don't happen in black institutions? Come on, y'all. At every level, I'm telling you. I'm like, the and to me... I'm like, I think it's because of the wealth and the privilege and then the other, the kids who actually believe that they deserve it. But at the end of the day, I'm letting you know that your institution can be bought. This name can be bought. So the people coming out of this institution, are they really that smart? Because who's taking these tests? Because are people that go in here this smart or is somebody else that doesn't even go here that smart? So does that devalue these education systems that these people are essentially just buying the name? I'm buying that I went to USC. I didn't do a goddamn thing at USC but fucking party. And I got a degree and I'm on the yacht of the one of the USC administrators. Come on. What y'all think is going on at every level? I don't care. So I'm trying to figure out does that devalue the educational system? Because who, where are these numbers coming from? Because the people that you're saying go here are that smart to get accepted into these schools. They're that smart. And then Anna Navarro, I mean, not Anna Navarro, Sunny Houston, she was so, it's, it, I love the way that she framed what she said. And it's a dig and it's being petty. And she always says she's not above the petty, but she can be petty at any time and at any moment and she doesn't care. And the way that she was saying is like, Oh, how mediocre do you have to be that even though you're, you already have the wealth and privilege to have access to these institutions, but you're not even going on your own merit in addition to your wealth and privilege, you don't, you're not going on anything. You are basically, your parents are basically saying, my kid is dumb, basically. You're, you're that mediocre that you have to have your parents and you already have access to the resources already. But now you're doing, you're using even more wealth to buy these, to say that you went to these schools. I'm looking at the educational system. I'm looking at your admission systems. What's going on? How are all these people at all levels? And I'm saying at all levels, it's happening. I don't care what nobody says. It's happening at all levels. You don't think these black elite is getting their children into these schools and these companies and stuff like that? Come on, honey. Um, so we, um, I wanted to talk, I made a whole video yesterday talking about no jewels um, and murder mook and all that situation with Karen Civil and Scotty Beam and black men's um, encouragement and a participation when white women disparage black women and 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 are and use black women as a target for their animosity towards black people um, because they are too busy fetishizing black dick um, so I, I made a whole video about it yesterday um, but I didn't really want to spend a whole time talking it was like 30 minutes so I'm not I really wanted to talk about the points that were made on the grapevine TV because I was gonna make a video about Jules and talk about her positioning within the industry as an influencer and how she gets around black men she never does it around black women but only the black women that really actually probably need her to get into these spaces and use her to get into these spaces but that she always is saying some anti-black shit and then she's always directing some shit to a black woman and it's always a black man close by who is either agreeing with her participating in the discussion or not saying anything at all um 
and all because this woman is displaying a physical appearance and, and using some black aesthetics to, to make up her appearance and uses black vernacular and um, and the tone of her voice, she uses, tries to change the timbre in her voice so that it sounds like a, of a black woman, you're, they're, they're more susceptible to accept her because she's not black, she's acting black, but she's not black. And that helps him feel comfortable with his position in society because he wants to have a proximity to whiteness because whiteness to him is liberation and his desire to be a white man or have the same privilege as a white man and power as a white man you can't actually be that so what better way to get close to a white woman who can actually provide you with that forgetting the fact that white women have been the um a, a instru a instrumental part in upholding white supremacy which is the reason why 54 percent of them voted for donald trump which is the reason why they have been in direct violations of black bodies within the within the system of racism and white supremacy violation of black men and black women from the beginning of time whether it's having sex with a black man and then lying and saying that she was raped or just making up a story that didn't even happen at all and blaming it on a black man or saying or or treating her um and I'm, t I'm going all the way back to slavery or treating the woman that your 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 husband is secretly is secretly raping and you know that he's raping this black woman and so you have an animosity towards her because you can't really stop him because he possesses the power that you are one step away from so that you don't really you you're really jealous of her because he really desires her and also fetishizes black woman and her black body as well while publicly saying that he thinks it's disgusting and this and this and that but whatever because it is i mean i'm going off on a tangent but that men black men i'm not gonna you're not gonna sum not all me to death because it's too many in the terms of hip-hop and the infrastructure of hip-hop where we have seen black men push white women up iggy azalea um, Ariana Grande um, who's the other one um, Chanel West Coast I'm trying to go off of memory I did take some notes um, who is the other one who is the other one let me look at my notes oh and Miley Cyrus with Mike Will Made It T.I. Bigged Up Iggy Azalea and then like even with her lyrics saying that she was a runaway slave catcher but Jules had a freestyle and it was it was very telling about how she feels about black women and who her target is. Because my ass is fat and my skin ain't black, I'm the vulture you're hunting. Yet they never do anything. They never give back. They keep killing blacks. This is a white woman. This is a white woman talking about how black folks treat each other. First of all, bitch, you have no position to be talking about that at all you are a bottle girl from miami you have no position to talk about anything or any issues related to black, black culture however comma you have black men who desire the women who are either light very very light skin latin white some type of racially ambiguous woman because that is how hip-hop has created this this idea and so you have men who allow that, black men who allow that, who allow a white woman to speak in a way about the gatekeepers of their community. And why is that? Why does that happen and why is that allowed and why is it promoted and encouraged? You understand what I'm saying? You allow this to happen. Uchechi on Grape, Grapevine um, said, the best thing ever and I was so happy that she said it because this idea that when a white woman is violent towards black people and black women specifically, because she knows she's going to get the support from some black men because they do not like black women themselves. So if they get someone as close to what looks like liberation to them, speaking about women that look like them, that have birthed them, that have raised them. And you and and they and allow it. That's because he wants that proximity to whiteness. Uchechi said her team encourages her that black women are jealous of her, right? 
you're needed in our culture using her as a replacement for the black woman she may be fucking black men and making them feel better about the place they have in this society she and then she said that Jules was nothing but a black man's cum receptacle I said come on Uchechi please be honest and say it we're not coddling these bitches people who are violent towards your community I don't give a fuck if you cry after you say some slick shit anti-black shit I don't care what are you what well, I'm not I don't care I don't care that you're crying you should have said you shouldn't have said that she also posted on um, Twitter a few years ago a image of a t of a t-shirt that said niggas lie and saying should she wear this to a festival so you're saying that your black boyfriend, that you understand the word and you understand what it's connected to and you understand that you are not allowed to use it, but you're going to post the shirt and then, so are you call your black, your boyfriend a nigga? Is that what you do? Is that what you do, Jules? Your black boyfriend? Like that shit is crazy to me. That shit is crazy. And then say, I really fucked up. I really love the community and this and that. She is Italian and Puerto Rican. She used to lie and say she was Colombian, playing into the whole Miami, you know, um, island scene or that kind of idea. You're not Colombian. You are adopted and your parents are Colombian, but you are Puerto Rican and fucking Italian. And you over here talking about black folks in a way and saying that we don't, we kill each other and you're the vulture. So you're admitting you are a vulture, a culture vulture. But then these black men that actually sit next to her and allow that shit. Does she even like black people? Maybe she doesn't like black people. As long as her enemy is black, a black woman, she'll be accepted. As long as she's talking shit about a black woman, she'll be fine. That's why she came for Scotty Bean. That's why she came for Karen Civil. And this is why other black men have to check black men who allow white women to sit in black spaces and talk shit about black women. You like like the things that I was saying like a lot of the things that these women say, it come they're echoing something a black man has said. Cuz you don't know nothing about black women except for what you aesthetically want to mimic. You want to look like that. You want to have the flavor. You want to have the vibe. You want to have the cool of black people. But you don't like black people. You don't like black people because it's evident when it's time to stand up and protect black people. You don't care. You're fetishizing what we embody in terms of our coolness, right? And you monetize on it and market it. You, you, you know what it is. The idea, uh, one of the guys said, the idea that the hip hop industry is a $700 billion industry and the percentage of ownership by black people is very, very low in an industry that most of the people who are rich from it are the performers. Nobody is owning anything. And that is really something that black men in hip hop have a problem with you really don't own anything so this white woman you know rubbing your chest and, and smiling your face and talking shit about black women she represents something that you can have some type of power that represents power that you see value in that you feel like oh i like like nick cannon said oh i couldn't do it before um i couldn't have her before but now that i have money and she actually wants me you have this idea that you have her she's only with you for the money and we've seen it over and over again but we do know that, that there are it's so it's so ingrained that it doesn't even matter she could look like a melted snowman and he is so happy and overjoyed that he is with said melted snowman uh, what else are we talking about um white women and black men who talk shit and the black men who allow it what's going on what is going on y'all y'all doing the most oh i should have got some coffee so loud in the space, the infrastructure of hip hop is dominated by men and what they deem as attractive is white women with a black aesthetic. 
Their target is black women, um, feeding it and then influenced by us and then feeding it back to white people as if they understand what the culture, black culture is. They are allowed into the culture. We are happy about white acceptance, inviting people to barbecues for the most simplest, shallowest thing. That person knows how to dance, invite them to the barbecue. Let me tell you one goddamn thing. If you invite anybody to the barbecue that don't look like me because they did something as really shallow and mediocre or as simple as having a big ass, you giving up your seat. And that's just what it is. Donovan said black women are the perform black women are um, are imitated by non-black women right the aesthetic the hair the ass the lips the the nails the everything that's how our culture is what we what what they said is ghetto in the hood all of a sudden you got chinese slippers on the runway costing five hundred dollars they use us in order to make money but then at the same time saying we're ghetto for doing the same exact thing they're painted as innocent, the damsel in distress. Black, black men has, have a false sense of power and use the white woman as a tool. Um, and then how can black women talk about these things and talk about these instances without being called by her counterparts an angry black woman? Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? Yes, Jules. Um, a lot of people who actually worked for her were just basically saying that they regret working for her and that they shouldn't, they, they, they shouldn't have done what they did and they realized her position is very, very dangerous. And her, her only target is black women. And when she's talking about black women, like you're not adding Scotty B. You're not adding um, Karen Civil. You're talking shit about them. But when they talk to you, bitch, they sure did tag your ass. They sure did tag you. Um, white women have been violent and upholders of white supremacy since the beginning of time. Um, they don't care enough about black women to protect them. So there's this thing like Jules is just, again, targeting black women because as long as her enemy is black women, there's going to be a black man not far behind looking at her as some symbol of value and then encouraging her to talk and say nigger. Takashi 69 fucking little pump all these kids they're being allowed nobody is checking them they're being allowed to and this is what our hip-hop is turning into what else are we talking about um Uchechi said black men are allowing them in post Malone Takashi little pump black men need to address their anti-blackness she went to Africa. This Af this orphan tourism is violent. These kids are not abandoned. That's another thing. White women as a trophy. If she speaks with a black scent, it's even better. <laughs> Woke white women. There's a reward system and America wants to see it. Um, what do you do now? Oh, it says we're the access to cool, right? Um, there's a lot of things that this that this thing that I took that I took uh, a lot of notes on. Um, I just don't. I mean, I, I don't under, what can you do? All we can do is if we see it, call it out. You, you, you're allowing this person to say these things, both men and women, not just women calling other women out, but the men calling the other men and women out who are allowing this woman to say these things in these spaces. They don't, they kill each other. Like, bitch, who the fuck? Like, what are you talking about? You don't know nothing of what you're talking about than other than what some nigga told you. We need to start talking about black women and black men or black black women in hip hop who are making an impact or in media who are making an impact. The Ava DuVernay's, the Issa Rae's, and just you know paying attention to that, and then like this Jules girl not paying attention to her. Like I said, like all of these people who know what they're doing, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They know who can be their attack because she's never sitting around a bunch of women, black women. Never. It's always a bunch of black men she's sitting around. And then she's had, she has said things like, oh, it's because I'm, I can go, I can go into a place with all black women, the black, all black men and the black women are mad because I'm walking out with Mr. Light Skin. What? 
So you know what you're doing. So when these black women come at you and hold you accountable for the things that you said, don't start crying and running to a black man saying, oh my gosh, she's, she's, she's too hostile and aggressive towards me. Why are they like this? Why are they like this to me? Oh my God. And he tells her because they're jealous of you. They're jealous of you. It happens all the time. It happens all the fucking time. And what, what can be done about it? But hold people accountable. It's always going to be that black man who really does not like himself enough to the point where he would rather sit in the face of somebody who will never understand the things that he goes through or will go through or experience will never understand it that's why i don't understand like when things happen to black people how do you go back to your partner and, and how do you how do you explain or or be able to articulate how you feel about how you've been treated and it's so and then, and then it's a racial undertone how does that happen where are you going you pulled up to the stop like first of all like you had beef with somebody bitch and number one you act like you about to pull out into this intersection and these cars are coming 50 miles an hour where do you think you going fucking idiot anyways y'all i'm sorry i spent so much time on that jules thing because i'm like that needed to be talked about that needed to be talked about and black men need to be held accountable and the black women who also allow it and also see value in, in white women because it's not just black men but black men because if the industry is male dominated and they allow these things to get in like how in the hell would ti allow that i wouldn't why because you see like okay well i got this white woman she raps let me get her to get her let me get her to put some ass get some ass shots these niggas is gonna i'm telling you i'm telling you these niggas is going to accept. They're going to eat it up. They're going to eat it up. And lo and behold, because there's this thing, the aesthetic. She has the aesthetic, but she's not a black woman. And and if I if I get her, I can still have that. I could still have that aesthetic. But then now I'm a little bit closer to white liberation. Liberation. Whiteness is liberation. Ain't that some shit? Anyways, what else is going on, y'all? I've been talking. I've been talking too long about one topic um we do want to talk about stephanie flowers that that um that senator who cussed that man out and told it cussed everybody out in the room and and you know what she said was right what she said was right you know my kid has a different experience than your kid you guys are walking around here with guns you automatically this this society has has created this idea that you should ought to be automatically if it's a black person Based on that person's skin color, you need to be scared of that person. And all these people in Arkansas, this where they had the stand your ground law, law, they are killing black people and getting off. They said in the states where the the stand your ground law is in, is um, um, a law that the rate of white people killing black people is really high. And then the rate of them getting off is even higher, saying it's stand your ground. And she was going off. And when that man told her, white man told her to be quiet, she told him, no, no, I'm not being quiet. Told him to go to hell too. And said, what are you going to do, shoot me? Because that's what would have, that's like in any other situation, he could say, her yelling at him, I, fe I felt like my life was in danger. And because she's a black woman, people be like, oh God, I get it. I understand. Because you know, they're a little dangerous. I'm about to go get me something to eat. That's how it is. And you could ask Biz. I stole your girl while you was in prison, jail, for MC assault. But yeah, so I'm with Stephanie Stephanie Flowers. She cussed them people out. Her that accent. I was trying to figure out where that accent was because Arkansas they still kind of country. I couldn't think of I couldn't think of what it was. And she reminded me where is Richard Pryor from? Because Richard Pryor kind of had a country ass accent, but was still like southern, but like not southern, but like not southern, but like Midwest. Where is Richard Pryor from, y'all? I can't I can't think right now. I can't think. Detroit, Chicago. Where is he from? Where's Richard Pryor from? I feel like he's from Ohio or Arkansas, some 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 state. 
over there. Anyways, what else is going on, y'all? Um, we already talked about the weekend. What else? The edibles kicking in. It's, it's kicking in. It's kicking in, bitch. It's kicking in. So yeah, Megan McCain. What? Can y'all go watch? The, I posted in the community area with her saying that she didn't see anything wrong with legacy admissions. Girl, because you haven't worked for a goddamn thing. And so you automatically think you deserve all of this shit. You haven't worked for a goddamn thing. And your husband works for an extreme alt-right publication. I know I should not be listening to the... I should not be listening to the music on the internet not on youtube so but anyways any anyways y'all so what else is going on nothing else is going on um that's it that's all i got to talk about y'all sorry i spent so much time on that girl but i need i needed to get that out i have so many notes on on go watch first of all go watch grapevine they did the they did um a panel on culture vultures and she was the main topic and her actions were the ones that it, it really kind of sparked this so um go watch it and then go watch the, the tape where she was talking shit about black folks talking shit about joe button and karen civil and scotty beam y'all know i'm very critical of scotty beam and how she um you know presents herself on um state of the culture but bitch who are you you're not talking about scotty beam what is what are you crazy are you crazy and why don't you tag her when you talking shit why don't you tag her when you talking shit? Anyways. Anyways, but that's all that's all I got to say. Y'all have a wonderful day. It's been 31 minutes. Have a wonderful day. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Ground yourself this weekend. Stay grounded because this Mercury retrograde is no joke. Take care of each other. Peace.